Hey there, and welcome to the Jim Bob Drawing Show, where we draw cartoons and art just for fun. My name is Bobby Chu. And I'm Jim Bryson. All right, hey, Jimmy. So let's see what the topic is for this week. So we got flying. Jackalope. What is a jackalope? Yeah, I I was just thinking that. I hope everybody will know what a jackalope is, or at least, like, be able to look one up. But essentially, what is a jackalope? Man, I didn't even know what this thing was, so I looked it up. Turns out, it's just something someone made up. It was invented by taxidermists. And they just took a rabbit, and then they just stuffed some antlers in it so they could sell more. Oh, and they peddled them off like they were real. Like they were some fantasy creature, that, and everyone was like, oh, what is this? They're just scam artists, really. Wow, really? Okay, okay. Yeah, I've seen some kind of taxidermy scams like that, but the one that I saw was a mermaid, and it was like half monkey, half fish. Yeah, they get really creative, those guys. You know, it's a funny thing, knowledge, because, like, we're all after knowledge, trying to understand the world around us and all this stuff. But at the same time, we also want to still have things that we don't fully know about yet or have discovered yet, right? Yeah, we always want to be surprised. And yet know everything at the same time. Yeah, exactly. Now, do you believe in Bigfoot in North America or, you know, Loch Ness Monster or whatever? I would like to, but I I don't see it being possible. I mean, it's it's the Loch Ness, especially, like, there's no way that could possibly exist because it's in Scotland, right? And it's supposed to be on a lake? Like, no. There's no way a huge creature could escape being seen. Even the Bigfoot, it's unlikely. Even, yeah, there's no there's no way. I think the Bigfoot, like, I would like to believe the Bigfoot could exist because of the extremely dense forest areas in, like, northern Canada, where if it's in the middle of Canada, there's not that many people that live in the upper middle part of Canada, Mm -hmm. right? And if you're going over top with the helicopter or whatever, there's so much foliage, you know, you wouldn't be able to actually see the Bigfoot. Convince me someone. Okay, I'm gonna go out and search for uh, these creatures and hopefully put it on the next Jim Bob drawing show. So I'm starting to take over this painting, and the thing that I liked about this painting was the angle. The angle of the painting was pretty cool. It's an upshot, so I want to keep with that idea of this upshot, and the sun is kind of coming down from off screen. You can't really see the sun. So, you know, with this special view, complex view, and the clouds and the birds and all this stuff. The first thing I try to think of when I'm painting one of your illustrations here is how to kind of simplify the overall lighting scheme so it's a bit easier for the viewer to really take in. For me, it was the foreground elements a little darker, the background elements a little lighter so that you can read everything very clearly. That looks great, man. I wasn't so excited about this drawing, but I like how you kept the jackalope and the nest sort of like in a similar color. Yeah, I wanted jackalope and the nest and the bird to be all warm colors because everything else was cool colors. And so that kind of groups the jackalope and the nest together. I wanted that connection to be close. That's cool. I like it. You know, for those of you that are watching these videos, and if you like to draw, definitely subscribe to our Instagram account at Jim Bob Drawing Show because there we will give prompts every week for you to draw along with us. And then, if you haven't subscribed to our YouTube channel, definitely remember to subscribe and then press the, the notification button because that way you will get instant notifications the next time we put out a new video, which will be next week and every week. So see you guys next week. Yeah.